It's possible. I think I think Phil Blackman um, had a good take on it, where it's it's a more of a sideboard card. But we're testing the cards out today, so we want to draw them. So in the main deck, makes perfect sense. Yeah, you guys can start. Kevlar's, thanks for the follow. Dahlia sounds like a good idea against mono cantrips. There's a few seconds left in the prediction poll. Everybody, get your predictions in. Wasteland to start the game for for death and taxes. That's a pretty good start. What's up, David? How's it going? Saints Royals have been pretty bad, so maybe I should just play a one drop. Give me a ball. <laughs> yeah. All right, a Wasteland starting the game against Miracles. So immediately on the offense. Always fun to watch some legacy games as Kevlar's. If you're joining us for the first time, anyone from, from um, YouTube, or uh, elsewhere, welcome. And hit the follow button. Both of them. Okay. Bottom Let's both. Go. Yep. I will pass. Oh, Dovin's Acuity. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to ask about that. Which round is it? This is round three. This is round three. We have one more round after this. Sure. Ponder. And I was talking about earlier... Getting our 90s magic and spicy emotes t-shirts in. Hit the links below if you'd be interested in a tee. And they are, and and th this is this is fact. This is in the Encyclopedia Britannica. These are considered formal attire and business attire. You can wear these at all times. You can also wear them as pajamas, and you can also wear them for swimming. They're also good for swimming. Thank you, everybody, that's been picking up tees. All right. Scrubland on the battlefield for death and taxes. So this has a black splash here. 55% of chat was for death and taxes. 45% for pyro ascension. Race linen for pyro ascension. Dark zero for death and taxes. Some strong predictions, too. 7,000 and 10,000. Try to resolve the spirit labyrinth. Uh, I'm going to resolve a brainstorm in response. Yeah. That makes sense. Get around the spirit. Spirit of the Labyrinth has become a favorite of Death and Taxes players everywhere. Very exciting. This brainstorm is on its way to resolving here. Next round, we're going to see uh, some Do You have a spirit. Pass to you. Spirit resolves. With six cards. Spirit's pretty good in this matchup. Yeah, Spirit looks good here. Thalia, Spirit. Death and Taxes has some good tools. Uh, attempt to stick in Ascension. Yeah, Ascension's there. Go ahead. I don't know if their proxies are altars. Swing for three. Ouch. I'm assuming they're real, though. Mom? I think Sean has the cards. Mother of the runes. The runes. Uh... Cards? Five. Five cards. Actually, six. Uh, sure, you have Mother of Runes. All right. Pass to you. Mother of Runes resolves. Some damage uh, let's start getting dealt here. Bolt the Labyrinth. All right. Uh, I'm going to cast a Brainstorm, trigger the Ascension. Sure. Shouldn't I have two counters now? Put back these. Uh, play a Mystic Sanctuary and pass. Play a port. Uh, Try to resolve Maybe Phil missed the trigger. I don't know. It's pitching a brainstorm. Okay. Uh, Force will on the Skyclave apparition make sense. Uh, uh, 
Let's cleansing wildfire targeting the <laughs> like you like the, you, you like it? I'm gonna oh, cleansing I'm wildfire. I'm gonna target the port. What are you cleansing it's wildfire? Cleansing wildfire chat. Targeting the Rashad port. Okay. No, just making sure. I get a basic. Is it tapped or untapped? It is tapped. Okay. Cleansing then wildfire I'm going proxy. To cast a ponder report. and cast in a trigger. Okay. Wait, I'm so confused. How come Cleansing Wildfire didn't add a counter? Wait a minute. Did I forget what this card does? I don't know what's going on here. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery... Oh, it has to, say, have the same, it has to have the same name as the card out of Graveyard. Okay. I forgot about that part. So Cleansing Wildfire and Lightning Bolt were not already in the Graveyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that for a second, chat. I haven't seen Pyromancer's Ascension in, in action very much. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Chat's getting frustrated. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pass. I have Phil at 15 from the Force of Will. Yeah, that's very possible. Okay, cool. All right, YOLO. Thank you, Prolet. Uh, let's daze it picking up the tank. Okay. Ew, modern cards? What, <laughs> what cards are you referring to? Oh, Pyromancer's Ascension? <laughs> I guess that's considered a modern card, right? Yep. Uh, I'll run out another Ascension. Go ahead. Okay. Another ascension. Jesus. It's like a foil one too. Uh, Stoneforge. Sure. Uh, I will grab that as well. Okay. And then I'll pass you the batter skull in my hand. Batter skull. I will cast this preordain. Choose yours here. Copy on the stack. That's the Wish bottom. Mother of Runes was sure. a modern card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Resolve the regular copy. Sure. I think uh, at around the time that uh, Modern Horizons 1 was coming out, Humans was a top deck in Modern, and Mother of Runes would have just made it ridiculous. But maybe now at this point, and I don't know if we have any modern players watching, but maybe Mother of Runes would be fine now. Does, does anybody think so? Yeah. Like that and put this on the bottom and then second resolves if it were to be added to modern that is it's a big if i think giver of runes is more the direction they want to go as far as card abilities go mother of runes being able to target itself was kind of weird Giver Runes also gets protection from colorless, which is pretty cool. Exactly. The fact that it protects itself is a bit much. Draw. Draw. Let's call them turn. Sure. Yeah, Lava Dart is very relevant in modern. Yeah, exactly. I think Giver of Runes will just take over f from here on out uh, within Magic. I don't think we're going to see Mother of Runes enter any new formats. I'm going to bolt you. Me? Bolt to the yeah, face. For nine. Sure. Go to six. Or, sorry, go to ten. Uh, crack this. Sure, okay. Fourteen. Bolt for nine is real. Let's see if the Thunderous Wrath hits here. That would be pretty epic. Uh, port 10 target myself. Copy it. Sure. Uh, first copy result. Sure. I feel like you need more tokens, though. Yeah, I know. I'm going to shuffle this up. Three total portents. Uh, right. Second copy results. Sure. Shuffle that up.
what are we hoping for at this point for Modern Horizons 2? Which existing, not modern legal cards are we hoping are going to be in this set? Are people feeling like uh, they're ready for, you know, <laughs> Wasteland, Rishid Import, any of those cards yet? Or are we going to be looking at more in-between stuff like Foil? Play a Winslow piece. Yep. Hmm. Memory Lapse, cards like that. Putrid Imp? Yeah, Putrid Imp is a good one, actually. Sidenorna just says no. Sidenorna doesn't want any of this happening. Barbarian Ring. Yeah, Barbarian Ring is a good one. I'll pass. Barbarian Ring also not from Long. Ooh, that was a good one. That might be lethal. <laughs> yeah, you got F it. 15 damage. It's Did you just do 15 damage for one mana? Yeah. <laughs> It was a miracle. Yeah, it was a miracle, yeah. All right, game one goes to Phil Blackman, everybody. A miracle off the top did it. Natural Order. Side Order just got banned from chat for suggesting Natural Order should be in modern. Grindstone. Grindstone's an interesting one, yeah. Grindstone's not reserved list, right? No. Hope they stay away from suspend madness and flashback. Yeah, given that we just had time spell remastered, I I think we're gonna move away from that. Wake is in modern. It was in time spiral. Oh, really? Mirari's wake is in modern. I didn't know that. I can't even picture it with a modern card face. Genesis would make people crazy. Yeah, Genesis is like ugh, I don't know. All right, a vial to start the game for Sean. Okay. Um, Is that Japanese Zendikar Expedition Canopy? Genesis was in the Modern Horizons 1. Oh, that's right. It was. Yeah. Yeah, Mirari's Wake was not in Time Spiral. I thought so. Psychotog. Yeah, Psychotog. We need Psychotog and Modern. There we have it, everybody. And Upheaval, too. Uh, I'll try oh, to catch thing silence. Deafening silence is pretty big here. Uh, yep. Here we go. Cards? Uh, two. Uh, I will use my one spell for Brainstorm. All good, someone. Richard and Port would be sweet. Gothmog also got banned from chat. Look at that. Another ban. I'm going to put these back and I will pass her. Cap. Veteran Explorer is not legal, no. I'll play Crocus and Pets. Fortunately. You have two cards? Two cards. I think Vendor and Explorer will be messed up in modern. Right. Uh, I will attempt to miracle this. Yeah, sure. All right, let's hit you for five. Cool, 14. All right, five damage off the top, chat. Would Goblin Lackey be too good? Somebody get Goblin Lackey one on the line. Does anybody have... Goblin Lackey one's home phone number. Um, Goblin Lackey would probably be too good. Yeah, I think so. Even without Muxus, with just Siege Gang Commander available, I think it would be too good. That card's messed up. I'll grab that stuff. Hermit sure. Druid would be funny. That's not reserve list, right? Hermit Druid? Yeah, Lackey would be insane. I don't, I don't I don't like Lackey in modern. I don't think that would be great. A great experience. I'll play Prox with my land for turn. No pass. Yeah, Hermit Druid is not reserved list. It appears. It's not. Uh, I will play a Scalding Tarn. Sure. 
Scalding tar. And I will play an ascension. Okay. Hmm. I'll waste on the volcanic. Walk down. I'll pass to you. And tomb are buried alive, said Side Norna. Side Norna's also been banned from chat, everybody. And tomb are, are buried alive would not be good in modern. They would be evil. <laughs> Buns. Okay, pal. Sure. From the spirit. It's a good one. Uh, okay. Scrap. Yep. Um, buried alive might be a little too messed up in modern with um. Arc Light Phoenix. I don't know. That that's that's iffy. Portent, I think, would be too I, I don't think Portent will be added to modern. The draw a card and the next upkeep thing is just really outdated. Would why would Symbiote be safe without cradle? That's actually a good question. How do the elves people in chat feel? Rest in peace on the stack. That's a good play for Sean. Uh, I gotta force that one. Yeah, reasonable. Uh, combat swinging for nine. I'm oh, sorry, eight. Yeah, I'll take eight. Well, I'll gain four. Go back to 18. Uh, and I'll pass zero cards in hand. I had Phil at 18, so now he's at 10. Oh, yeah, four is fetch, yes. Cool. As everyone could probably hear, there's a there's a Mad Max movie going on outside. I will crack this scum turn. Sure. Okay, nine. Fills at nine. Yeah, I love Mad Max movies uh, too, but the 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 losers outside making a lot of noise drive me crazy. Did Phil end up stealing the car? No, Phil didn't steal my car. Wirewood with Arch Druid is strong too. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, I don't no know. Card, what, right? I don't know about Wirewood symbiote. Right. Right. I'm gonna Mystic Sanctuary. I'm going to put. I think it's four tent on top. Okay. Uh, Plain ascension. Okay. Pass. In your upkeep, I'm going to bolt your spirit. Sure, spirit time. Actual force of will? I don't think we're going to see that in modern. As much as some people may like it, I don't think it's going to happen. That's just not happening. Ooh. Not Waste for a long time. Sanctuary. Uh, Waste the Mystic Sanctuary. Yep. Um, got you at 5, and I go to 22. Go ahead. Uh, I will cast Fortune. <laughs> yeah, negation seems uh, like sure. enough for modern right now. Sure. What colors need help in modern right now, though? That's. Yep, near draw. Um. Yeah, Force of Will being able to defend combos is what would make it bad for Modern. All right, we're going to game three here. 55% for Death and Taxes. 10,000 channel points from Dark Zero for Death and Taxes. 7,000 for Raced for Pyro Mancer's Ascension. A lot of channel points are on the line, everybody. Quickly, I'll plug Wednesday stream. Wednesday, 48 hours from now, 8 p.m. Eastern. Our competitive bracket will continue, and uh, we will have some challengers fighting over our Monarch spot, 
and uh, be there. Legacy will always be ruled by Blue with Brainstorm. It seems like it. Yeah, it seems like it. That's what people like about this format, I guess. Or one of the things they like about it, anyway. All right, a fetch and scrub land to start. So far, the black cards haven't made an impact yet for, for Sean. Let's attempt to resolve a mother of runes. I'm good. All right. Past you. I will cast a period. Okay. Period. Like this. Top, bottom. Uh, I'm going to crack this and bolt them on there. All right, I'm dead. Uh, I'll pass after that. Mom's down. Play a port, try to solve Uh, Thalia's good. Pass to you. Um, are we going to see a Pyromancer's Ascension get slammed here with a third land? Or does Thalia need to be dealt with now? Uh, I feel even has that option. Some... Both with Thalia. All right, Thalia down. Uh, I'm going to crack this and there you go. Portent. Okay. And a portent. Okay. It's a pretty good turn. Cards in hand when before the portent was um, triggers. Uh, before it was also before or before I did. I mean, I have two cards in hand. Yeah, two. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah no, it's a very weird way of saying it. <laughs> Important resolving here still. I'm going to shuffle it. Okay. Shuffle. And then I'll pass and draw. Okay. Move my upkeep. All right, draw off Ponder on the stack here. Draw. I mean, off Portent. Play Wasteland. Try to resolve. Rest in peace. Yep. Rest in peace is pretty good. And then I will waste a Volcanic. And I'll pass. Volcanic down. Uh, I'll play a fetch and pass. Mom? Sure. I'll play a wasteland. It affects on your upkeep. Okay. Uh, tap a Volk. Tap Volk on upkeep. Okay. Is it better to... Uh, practice? Sure. Is it better to port the Volk or waste the Volk? Honestly, don't know. I'm just wondering. Can get the Volk into the exile. Wait, what? Not uh, sure what you mean. Mom. I'm dead. Depends if he needs a mana later. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh... Waste on the bulk. Wasting it uh, now. Okay. I'll play a planes for turn and I have effects on your upkeep. Yep. Tap right. door mountain. Protecting the pass. Well, then I'm not casting anything. <laughs> play Area of flame or echoing yep. truth, yeah. Pass upkeep. Uh tap the island in the mountain. 
Yes. All right, things getting a little bit out of reach here for hey, Phil, Wizzle, it would seem. Pass. Pause you on your upkeep. Same deal. Uh, pass. I'll go to 18 on the end step. And, and chat wanted Richard in Port and Modern. Who said that? Perfect. Who said they wanted Richard in Port and Modern so I could ban them? Can you just let me know who you were? Play Wasteland. There's Wasteland. Good result, Prelate. <laughs> Crazy talk. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm totally joking, um, everybody. Sanctum Prelate. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Okay, it's 17. Responding to the Sanctum Prelate here. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm. Sure. Yeah, Ponza is also a real deck in modern as well. Uh, yeah, that's good. Cool. The Arbiter deck, uh, yeah. Still on one. Uh, upkeep, I'm going to tap your mountain. Prelate on one. This is bad news for Phil here. Uh, pass. Things are getting out of reach. Uh, I will swing for two. Ouch. Pass, upkeep, pause. Uh, the mountain and the island. Okay. Yep. Killer bees. Phil fetching here on upkeep. I thought Killer Bees was so good as a kid. I had a fourth edition copy that was just, I thought was so good. Sure. Yep. Yeah, Sean has drawn uh, really well. Glen Island Pass. Um. Play Flicker Wisp. Flicker sure. Wisp. I may target my prelate. Okay. Interesting. Is it going to change the number on it? I'm going to try to cast a Deafening Silence. Oh. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move funny. Step. Okay. Uh, pass to you. Upkeep, Captain Mountain. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, that was a little weird, but uh, I guess it worked out. Five. Ouch. Pass. Upkeep Mount Mountain Island. Pass. Hmm. Hey, yeah. Ouch. Pass. Same deal. That game felt so gross. So, because <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I had two Pyromancers Ascension in my hand when you cast the rest in peace and I didn't have an answer. But I didn't have the time. I had to be going after your threats because my hand was just like mono bolts. Yeah. And so to resolve anything, I have to get rid of the bomb. I have to get rid of the Dahlia. Oh, Dahlia then, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And then I the, the turn that you cast the rest in peace, I was like, okay, well, the rest of the piece sticks. And now in response to the prelate, I have force, brainstorm, and then double pyromancer's ascension. I'm like, I have to get these pyromancer's ascension out of my hand. And I was hoping to be able to untap so I could fetch them away. Sure. But you playing the prelate meant that I either force pitching the brainstorm and then I'm just dead because I can't get rid of any of these pyromancer's ascension, or I can try and refresh a little bit, get rid of one pyromancer's ascension, find another blue card, at least clear one card, right? So I'd be trading, expecting to find a blue card because I had most of the red cards either exiled or in my hand. I'm like, I'll find a blue card, I'll force, I'll go down a card fighting over the prelate, or if I find like pyroclasm, that's great. Um, 
or I can even like, uh, if I can find a thunderous wrath, I can stack it. Sure. Um, Sure. But I, mean, I was so I was like so I like play the line. I'm like I have the, the the brainstorming there seems like the correct line, and then I find third pyromancer's ascension land <laughs> land, and so I'm like all right this this game is just over. And then I draw the aria of flame like way after the fact and like sure, of course that that, that 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 just felt so bad. <laughs> well, like I mean, I mean it, it was like it was clean like you know all, all of the action is, is good. Like I don't imagine DNT is a good matchup for this deck, but like. I don't know. It, that was like yeah. one of those games where I was just like, oh man, like I just need I need anything to line up. And I was like drawing mono power totally. Yeah, you yeah, know, because I mean prelate really is the thing that most closed the door. Uh, yeah, Sanctum Sanctum, Sanctum Prelate is can be a really messed up card. <laughs> it does a lot of yeah, damage. It, it, was, it was like I wasn't even really scared of the prelate. I was like scared that rest in pieces lining up against three pyromancers ascensions. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to draw three pyromancers ascension really ever in this matchup right i want to but like i need i can't like board any number out i have to board i have to keep in my threats plus board into ario flame and because he's got things like skyclay that he can like flicker so i'm like i need to have yeah. enough threats that i can like stick one early like clear the stuff early and then hopefully just out card and then kill you fast right uh which is how the deck is designed but it just like uh, it, it didn't, it didn't a good time to talk about the design of the decks because we had some questions from chat. Did you think about um, some of the cards I remember people mentioning were Predict, Manamorphose? Um, so I, I, yeah, I thought what, about what, what were the other? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I thought about Manamorphose. I just hate it because it's a two drop that doesn't do anything. Like it's <laughs> good. It's good exactly if you have Pyromancer's Ascension and otherwise it's just cycles. Yeah. Like yeah. your deck doesn't need color filtering. Filtering like you don't need to fix colors really. Um, yeah. So like I I didn't like that because I was like if you get a if you have to like play Manamorphose and it just gets like I don't know dazed or something and you spent your turn doing that like it's just bad. Yep. Um, I thought about what was the other card that people were curious. About? Oh, predict. Um, did someone I name Baral? Like... Oh, Faithless Lo Faithless Looting. Someone named. So Faithless Looting goes down a card and you if you if I was playing in if I removed one of the four cantrips to play Faithless Looting and then also went into Arclight. Then I'd be interested in Faithless Looting. Um, okay. But I wasn't interested in Arc Light because your deck is already graveyard focused. And yeah. so when you have players that are going to board things in like Rest in Peace, you don't want to be having both axes of play fighting on the graveyard. That makes and I'm sense. Already yep. in, I'm already interested in Mystic Sanctuary because that's how you can pick and choose your spots to like kill really quickly, right? You can go like, as you saw in like the games that I, I closed, it was yeah. often like Bolt Sank Bolt, right? Right, right. So, I'm surprised um, it's AK. Well, the th same thing, right? AK is another graveyard focused thing. Yes, sure. It's like I, I, I want to not lean so hard into my opponent's interaction with the graveyard, just lining up exactly all the time. Yeah. Uh, hence why I went. I tried Aria Flame in the in the um, sideboard. I don't like it. It's too expensive. Um, mm. But uh, the reason that I didn't do Predict is uh, same reason. Predict is a two mana spell, but it's, it's so it's good when you need to go up cards early um but you're like not i wouldn't say that you're like raw cards trying to go up early like you want to be just getting the ascension online and then have your cantrips double up and a predict with a double um which we call it uh yeah it's true with the the predict doesn't when you double up a predict you have to name twice so it doesn't really oh right yeah like, yeah yeah it, it's not the cleanest um but also like the way the deck wants to operate it's like you want to be going turn one cantrip, turn two cantrip, cantrip, or removal spell. And then turn three, you want to like stick Pyromancer's Ascension and then copy or play two of the spells you've already played. Right, right, right. Right. So you're trying to assemble. So it's like it's on on turn three. And then theoretically, you can then either cantrip and just go up a volume of resources, or you can just kill them because you can go, you can, if you can, um, at that point, after you've landed on turn three, then on turn four, when you've hit Mystic Sanctuary mana, potentially, you can then go like, okay, Thunderous Wrath sank Thunderous Wrath. Last suggestion from chat from Race Linen. What do you think of a thing in, uh, a thing in the ice? I thought, about, cool I, I, I thought about thing in the ice. I ended up going with Cleansing Wildfire because the deck is going to be soft to things like your Merit Lage matchups. Yeah. Um, just from how the deck operates. And also it's a cantrip. Right. Yeah. I'm interested in cantrip. So like nuking a land and being a cantrip, or if I can cut off 
a, a super greedy opponent. Uh, yeah. That also, but the fact that it can't, the fact that it interacted on an axis that the deck otherwise didn't interact on, and cantrips is why I went with it. Now I boarded it out in every matchup because it's not that that axis just wasn't what the games were ever about. Um, yep. Not to say that I I wasn't happy in the main board with it. It's just like maybe it's not the best main board card. I didn't put thing in the ice though because yes, it's good, but like my opponent's swords and fatal pushes and all that are dead. Game one, I don't want to give them a target. <laughs> And yeah. also, like, it's because I'm not playing things like Manamorphose or other, um, like, proactive fast spells like Gutshot or Surgical Main, it yep. means that if I'm playing the thing, then it's got to survive. I have to cast four spells. And so it's like I'm either dazing or force of willing to protect it to get the counters off. But then I also have to spend mana. It's like, I don't know. I didn't want to turn on opponent's removal. Like, maybe yeah. it's worth trying, but I was just like, if I, if I, Give my opponent a way to line up a fatal push in game one. I'm just gonna feel so bad. Yeah, but honestly, as a sideboard threat, you might. I, like, it's I possible. Yeah, I'm not. I I, I yeah. thought maybe as a sideboard threat instead of Aria Flame, but I thought against it because I didn't want it to walk into Pyroblast. True. Yeah, Pyroblast is pretty good. And my you. entire deck is blue, so it's like. <laughs> yeah. If people have Pyroblast, like it's just live against everything at that point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I thought about also. Um, as as a more efficient uh, efficiency way to do things, uh, I thought about moving into um, like trying to like move from Pyromancer's Ascension into like Delver, and just like okay. maybe have like a transformational package where you just play like a bunch of threats when they board out the removal. Right. And so you're playing things at that point. You're playing things like Delver and uh, maybe Young Peasy or something, because mm -hmm. uh, Delver is going to trade up. Or trade even, so it's not as bad as the other threats. Right, right. And then, but uh, at the same time, like you don't want to just be cold to decks that are faster than you. It's a, it's a, it's an experiment, but like I don't know. I thought I thought it was cool because, as you saw, just it is cool. Myst it is cool. Myst Mystic Sanctuary turning on your burn spells is pretty pretty epic. Yeah, um, yeah. Thunderous Wrath. Um. All right. There's yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no, uh, I th I think we're out of time here for yeah, round yeah, three. Yeah,